the overturning of Roe v. Wade was not as if it wasn't uh, enough, was not just a move that has um, uh, implications for people who need uh, abortion care or need uh, reproductive uh, care, uh, health care, broadly speaking, um, being prevented from doing so in at least uh, 13 states and then 26 states and then maybe in other states as well. It was a signal to the right in this country, which is, let's be clear, half of Donald Trump's votes came from self-identified evangelical Christians. And the remaining half may not identify as evangelical Christians, but certainly a significant portion of them um, have a fundamentalist worldview. And we are seeing now the implications of that, not just in the case of abortion, but in the case of protecting a woman's uh, or a person uh, who is facing sort of potential life threatening uh, situation because of a denial of abortion care being assaulted. <clears throat> We're seeing children being assaulted and it's going to it's going to expand from there. Make no doubt about it. And also understand what we're watching now is the right. Their lies about their agenda when it came to the protecting the babies with abortion are starting to show uh, itself that they were always lies. It was never about protecting the innocent baby. That was a second order result of a linchpin in their mind to maintaining and edifying the patriarchy. But really, the patriarchy is a second order uh, thing. They don't perceive it as a patriarchy. God's will. That's as, what it comes down to. Yeah, as evidenced by the fact of their response, or as evidenced by their response to a baby, I would call a 10 year old, a child, a baby closer to that than definitely an adult or a woman, their response to her pregnancy via rape um, and denying that. Like that exposes their hypocrisy even more than anything. That, but there's more and more that I think we're, we're going to see in the coming days. We have, we have clips of it. Stuff that has it's far afield from it, but it is unleashed. We got a clip of someone from the FEC in a hearing just to find out, like, uh, what do they call it? A, a, a preemptive hearing. I can't remember what the, the, the actual term is. We'll, we'll go over it soon. But just to get a ruling on, can I spend money on this? And one of the Christian conservatives on, this, on the FEC doesn't even look at the issue of the funding as much as the behavior leaving a child for a week with a babysitter on when you're going on a trip i'm not kidding we will we will we will get to there but this is going they in other words it is over they they don't they don't they're not hiding anymore so understand they've been lying this whole time not just about the children or the innocent babies they're lying for the Lord, as you said before lying the for show, the Lord. because it doesn't really necessarily. Ma it's the same reason why they supported Donald Trump. Right. Even though there was a lot of talk in the lead up to the 2016 election. How can evangelicals support this guy? He is an adulterer. He is gluttonous. He is everything that they're supposed to stand against. But it doesn't really matter. Right. It was the same reason that Mike Pence stood beside him. It was all about the lie or what the ends justify the means for them which is the 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 patriarchy the christian fundamentalism being enshrined into law and and trump uh, followed through with that and we're seeing it in the supreme court yep. now they got what they wanted all right so uh, with that said let's look at um jim jordan this is a guy i remember very very concerned about protecting uh children <laughs> Um, unless they're wrestlers on his team and they're being molested by somebody. Then we that, cover that. That up. one narrow yeah. case, mm. not so much. But um, here he is on CNN 
of course, all he needs is a headline from one of his right wing outfits uh, to, to take his marching orders. And it's hard to believe that the right did not anticipate the idea that in Ohio itself, there are at least, according to uh, in 2020, there were 52 children under the age of 15 who required an abortion in 2020. So this is happening four or five times a month in Ohio. In Ohio. Victims of rape in Ohio. And uh, Jim Jordan from Ohio couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe that it was possibly true. And part of this is, uh, understand, they don't care. At the end of the day, they don't care because this is the Lord's will. Here is uh, Jim Jordan. Why did you delete the tweet? Well, because we learned that the illegal alien did this heinous crime. the news profession, which happens all the time on, on Twitter, um, shouted Joe Biden, which is usually a smart thing to do. Yeah, I mean, here it is. And so um, he's saying we deleted the tweet uh, where he was, you know, uh, uh, questioning uh, the story when he found out that it was an illegal immigrant. They're going to do anything they can to divert from the attention of what the real story is here. And... The reason why they're going to do that is because they their agenda is now really fully exposed and they're going to town and there is no holding back and they are trying to provide a soft landing for the 60 70 percent of this country maybe a little bit less 60 percent 70 percent that does not want to live under a religious fundamentalist regime it's like marketing 101 i mean okay i'm re-watching mad men for the millionth time if you don't like what's being said change the conversation absolutely and that's exactly what they do right it's one now it's about uh the dirty illegal immigrants who are criminals coming over the border and uh biden's policies are causing that oh wait this could definitely this happens uh child rape assault happens and the pregnancy could happen in any other instance okay uh now it's about the veracity of the story we're going to cast aspersions on it even though the indianapolis star and what was it the columbus dispatch also both verified this story um and now it's uh you know it's about this it's about that they need to operate on a different playing field um because the reality of what they support is not as you say sam not uh not supported by the vast majority of americans in this country so they have to make it about anything else